Greetings and welcome to Gospel Link Up, your home for fresh gospel music, videos, news and events right at your fingertips. I'm your host, Shauna K. Small, and we are right here in the center of Crossroads to find out from the people what's your thoughts on unmarried Christian scuddling. So we're in the street right now to find out what they really have to say. Once the two persons are able to responsibly control themselves, then I don't see a problem with that because there's no scripture or no verse or there's really no section in the Bible that speaks against cuddling. The, the act that it speaks to is, is really sexual immorality or sexual intercourse between two persons. So once it's done within that remit, meaning that it doesn't go any further, I don't, I don't really see a problem with it. It's, it's wrong because one thing leads to the next. And who knows what can happen after cuddling. I mean, we're all eating salt and anything can happen. I mean, courting is good, but the cuddling, I don't think it's right. All right, so no Christian supposed to be cuddling, right? No, no cuddling. Courting and that's it. Okay, well, I think it depends on the level of the relationship. If you are just dating a couple months, maybe not. And if you can't control yourself. But if you're, for instance, engaged, or dating for a couple of years and you know your limits and you know you know you can control yourself then I think it's alright. A serious something that you know. A North Pole and South Pole that a lot of attraction that's so I wouldn't advise that because if you can manage the attraction you're gonna do something, you understand? So keep her from that. You know, that can stay for a later date. I wouldn't advise anybody to do for try, see if you can overpower it car. I know what it is like. And I would say, stay far from that. And don't try it out. Just wait until your time comes, you understand? When you cuddle, you get close to each other. It's not anything too intimate, so I don't have a problem with it. Well, as long as you're not going into the caressing part, if you're not courting and going into the caressing part, that, that's, that's where the problem is. But hugging and, and, and touching up here, <laughs> <laughs> right up here, touch neck and whatever, that's fine. But below, I think that's where the problem is because once you go further, you're going to want to go more and more and you'll get more intimate and that's where the problem is because you'll, you'll want to experience sexual intimacy and that's where the trouble is. If, if I know that if I, if I get a touch too close, I'm going to get, I'm going to get heated up. I try, and I try to tell the person, mm -mm, don't touch me, <laughs> I don't want that. I generally feel that there are certain babies that we shouldn't encourage. So if it reaches a point where you become um, uncomfortable, then you have to just decide that this is not something that we should do. And in all things, we should always seek the counsel of the good Lord. The Bible has many, many, many things that can help us to make these decisions. And I think if you pray and you ask God to guide this relationship that you're in, and dedicate that, that relationship to God and tell him that you do not want to sin against him. I know the Lord. I am faithful and, and I trust and know that the Lord will honor the decision that you will make as a couple. Well, personally for me, I believe it is wrong because as Christians, we have feelings and when you start to cuddle, then cuddle is going to lead to touching and touching is going to lead to sex. And you know as Christian, that is totally a no-no. Until we are married, no, no. So what if we want to go up and only to date and them something there, I would just hug and just kiss other, each other goodbye. What do you think about that? Definitely we can go out and date because we have to get to know each other, right? But I mean, like for deep kissing, for me too, that is wrong. Just a little chokes, yeah, and a little hug, yeah, you can do that. But I wouldn't encourage like, um, young Christians, really young Christians, to go out on their own, go to like places like, you know, um, where people not seeing them and stuff. I think they should go out in group because when you go out by yourself, then that is another avenue to go down the sexual line. I believe it's very dangerous. A lot of temptation there. We all know how our body operates. We do not have any control over the hormones in our body. So I believe that the best thing to do is to cuddle where, if any cuddling is going to happen, let it be in a public vicinity where as, you know, nothing cannot happen, where you restrict yourself. Don't let it be in any area where, you know, it can move on to more than it should be. Well, I agreed with most, most things that uh, Miss Phyllis just said, but one thing I disagree with her is that even though we are in group, 
um, we may go out in group and everything, but I don't think Christians should be cuddling at all. I know that we have a desire to have a lifetime partner and everything, but we're in a group, yes. I think that as Christians, we should get to know each other, yes. Um, get to know each other um, intimately and all of them things, the but we not should be cuddling. We don't think that we should be cuddling at any point at all, because cuddling in, um, in a group may lead otherwise outside of the group. Because you're cuddling in front of the group. What, what kind of message are you sending across? We are Christian. We can meet, we can chill, relax, enjoy ourselves. We don't need to be cuddling. We can go to the beach, have fun and all that. Why are we cuddling? What message are we bringing across to other young people in the church? Yes, we want to get married. Yes, we want to have a lifetime partner. But we don't need to be cuddling at all. Because I know people in my church dating. But that doesn't mean that I'm a fuck cuddle every time we go. No. I don't think that because me know me me single man have nobody. Yes, that's all. <laughs> me single man have nobody, but I look up towards um, the relationship I can see in church. I see married couples together. I don't have anyone. When I go out with them, I don't want to see like couples that are not married and they're part of my church and they're my church brother and church sister and they're cuddling. Like seriously, you're not married, you're not this, you're not that, you're a Christian and you're supposed to set an image, set a standard for me to look up to. And then you're out there cuddling and all that. No, you don't. Many things that you're supposed to cuddle. In group, nothing. There you have it guys. Some people say it's okay for an unmarried Christian to cuddle. So what's your view?